The city of Philadelphia is one of rich history and passion, and you can always count on the ladder when you step inside Lincoln Financial Field. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the New York Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line at their own 23-yard line. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. On second down, it's Sanders. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. there maybe a couple up to the 35 that play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine we used to call him the trash man his ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny and that's exactly what you want from your mike linebacker from the 35 on second down wentz this one complete to his fullback out of the backfield it's interesting because when I'm watching college football and I'm evaluating guys for the draft now, my list of fullbacks, pure fullbacks, it's a very short list. I'm probably evaluating more punters and kickers now than I am fullbacks, but it doesn't matter what you call a position, it's who you put there, and there we saw a completion. signal for a timeout so they must have not been aware of the numbers i think he lost track of the time left in the play clock and probably was trying to read the defense and try to figure out which play to run and just lost track and it cost him and the delay of game penalty makes this much more difficult third and eight from the gun it's wins Open man, it's Rager. He's got it. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10, right at the 40. Quick throw out wide by Wentz. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. So mark off the yardage for roughing the passer. And I've seen this before on a screen pass. Now are you rushing the passer? You're rushing him deeper than normal. And I think a little frustration kicks in at the end. You're going to hit him anyway when you shouldn't.
So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and 10. A give to the fullback on the dive. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And there's the pickup you want on first down. All offenses say, you get me four on first down, we'll take it. How about if you get five? They'll really be happy. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. All day, dog. And again, they'll go right back to their fullback. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal as he's inside the 10, down to the 7-yard line. It's an 8-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. They'll run with Sanders. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the 6 to the 5. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Come on, baby. Now they'll throw it. Wentz to the goal line, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time, but now it's third and goal. It hasn't been a real good start to this game from a defensive perspective, but now after the incompletion on second down, things may be changing. If they can come up with one more play, they might be able to get out of it with just a field goal attempt. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Wentz is going to keep it. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Speed is the name of the game when it comes to RPOs, and sometimes you can be a little too quick, thus inaccurate, incomplete. After marching down the field, only getting three there, it kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better than they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. Well, if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. Send this one away. And no return on this one as the fair catch a signal four and take it. So the Giants take over first and ten at their own 25 yard line. Six up past the 30 to the 31. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Up of six brings up second and four. They'll come up now, second and four from the 31. Here's Grant. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Good job there keeping him to a short gain. Of course, he's coming off a really terrific performance. Reigning NFC Defensive Player of the Week. And I know people get caught up in, well, if you're the reigning Defensive Player of the Week, you must have made a bunch of spectacular plays. Like you mixed in a few of those, but most of the plays are just like we saw there. Keep them to short gains, make the fundamental tackle. third down. It's Grant and he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39 yard line. He's brought down. Five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. yard gain on the play. First down, Giants.
So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. And his throw here is incomplete. Evan Ingram was the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Looking to throw, Prescott. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. That took his attention elsewhere to no avail. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. He's letting this one go for Fuller. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So one first down on that drive, and that's it. Forced to take the deep shot on third down and couldn't hit it. Now they have to punt this one away. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. A gain of three, second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. They'll break the huddle and come out with four receivers, three of them to the right side, second and seven. Here's Wentz to throw. That'll be caught, Rager with it. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Here to his running back. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Working from the gun, Wentz. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it'll be giant football first and ten. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs, and that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again.
The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Prescott. Open target here, Darius Slayton. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one covers 29 yards. First down. First down. second and nine not a whole lot there the defense was ready it looked for that run pass option you get the sense the next time he has that opportunity he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one huh here's second and nine just a yard on that last run now prescott finds his tight end ingram and he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They will run with Grant. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. He's brought Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Prescott from the gun. Completes it to Hardman. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Third down. It's Grant. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. Tackle me. It's a nine yard gain and it keeps the drive moving. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. First carry now for Kareem Hunt, and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Decided to hand it off that time on the run-pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice, steady gain. run got six now second and four they'll run this is Hunt and he'll be brought down this time at the five yard line a five yard gain there makes it first and goal and there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps you don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. That run didn't get very far, and I think when you're looking at his dimensions, he's a little bit on the smaller side. He's counting on the big guys up front to escort him in, and they couldn't create any kind of space for him, could they? Yeah, didn't get the push they needed. From the two now, second and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. 
That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. And now third and goal coming up. The loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder. And they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. The Giants on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Only a yard. On the pick up there, and it's going to bring up a fourth and goal. Brings up fourth and goal at the three yard line. Now, Lutz for the field goal try. From the left hand, should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Lutz is good, and that will tie us at 3 3. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. He was taken down. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to him back. At the 20-yard line. Behind the sticks here with a second and 15. Shotgun now for Wentz. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. The good signal callers will never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly, and that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. The Eagles on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and 15. Now Wentz. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Wentz. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 
back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Wentz on the give to Sanders, and he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Wynn's going to try and throw on third. Yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. Wentz now to throw. This short throw caught by Goddard. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Throwing now is Wentz. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Xavier McKinney. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. At their own nine. So they thought they were going to break the tie. The defense had other plans. They were already in field goal range. But boom, an interception. I don't know if this was a case of being a little bit too greedy with the opportunity to put points on the board. But give credit to the guys on the defensive side. Hung in there, battled, and made a key play. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Nicole Hardman, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. A second down throw for Prescott. This pass going to be caught by Hardman. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Prescott. They'll complete this to Ingram is tied in. Prescott. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. for Prescott. Open man right side is Ingram. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. Out of bounds at the 50-yard line. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. Here we 
second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Prescott now from the 50. Incomplete, and we're down to eight seconds now. He was looking for Evan Ingram, the tight end, and it's third down. It's third down, and five yards to go. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Prescott yet again. He's got his man. That's Hardman. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. A gain of 15. First down, Giants. So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. And this is good. He got just enough to clear the crossbar as he drops it in from long distance. So if you like field goals, this is your game. 6-3, three, three field goals at the break. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, second half ready to get rolling. The Giants with a lead, and they are set to receive this kick. Now a hit and a loose football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and an Eagle touchdown. So problems here on special teams, and it results in the scoop and the score. They talk all the time on special teams about keeping your head on a swivel, trying to see the whole field. Hard to do when things are going that fast, bodies all over the place. You're just trying to find the right guy to align yourself with. On that play, wow. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. To throw is Prescott. Throw left side, complete to Ingram. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. First down, Giants. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Nicole Hardman, the intended target. And it's second down. Well, you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those. But the coverage has been excellent thus far. And it was again on the last play. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. This is Grant. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A great effort there with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Giants are able to grow their lead. And it's up and good to make the score 13 to three. Makes the score Giants 13. Eagles three. after the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. That'll be taken about a yard deep, and he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. 25 yard line.
The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they had a nice little drive going last time through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Now wins. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. That's going to bring up fourth down. Only a gain of two there. Here's Brett Kern now as he'll punt it away for the second time. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. On the run, this is half. This will go for five up to the 33. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. And I give this time to the tailback. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Second and eight, Prescott. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game. Instead, they're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. on second down that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight from the shotgun it's Prescott that's caught left side by Hardman and he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion a great way to convert on third down there 21 yards the play so from Philadelphia territory now here's a first and ten at the 36 they run the counter. Grant. 
And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. They went counter there offensively, and a couple of defenders were on skates for a second. They certainly were, and you know what offensive linemen love about the counters and the misdirections? Sometimes you don't even have to block the defender. He can run himself out of the play if he doesn't read his keys properly. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. A gain of 10 as they look to add on to this 10-point lead. A well, Lots of praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's found the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there, but of course you're going to give it to him. On second and seven, Prescott flushed out right. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Touchdown. Dak Prescott with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Giants are able to add on to their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, there's, some, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. On the counter now is Sanders. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Play fake to Sanders. Now here's Wentz. He'll fire it deep for Rager. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. I'm getting the sense that this offense is getting frustrated. Here we are into the third quarter, and they've had plenty of opportunities to get in sync. Thus far, that hasn't happened. They're looking for answers, both on the sidelines and in the huddle looking at each other. Open man, it's Rager. He's got it. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So from the 36 now, first and 10. To throw, it's Wentz. Now they set up the screen, that's complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid gain. To throw again on second down, Wentz. And he will find his man on the outside. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. On first and 10, here's Wentz. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 12. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Giants touchdown. 
This D wanting to put it away before we even get to the fourth quarter, widening that margin a bit further. And while they won't just empty the bench just yet, if you're a backup, start loosening up. I think you'll get a chance to play before this one is over now with that type of a cushion. Lutz good on the extra point, and the lead is now 24. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And this return will net positive as he gets past the 25 and up to the 27-yard line. 27-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this run. I don't think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and ten. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure or do they play coverage on this down? This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, it's Wentz. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. First and so possession goes over here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And now you've got the clock winding down here in the third quarter. Your three scores to the good. What's your approach on this drive? Too early to fully commit. And he's into the clear. And all the way in, touchdown, New York. A big play there with his 13th touchdown of the year and second of the game. And the Giants just continue to pour it on. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. And he returns this to the 22. And now hang on here because down on the field and appearing to be grimacing in some pain is the tight end Zach Ertz. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 22. We'll check on his status when we get back. Off play action, he'll throw to start the drive. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Incomplete. He was covered by Xavier McKinney. Second and 10 now, third quarter action from Philadelphia, PA. And they'll try a jet sweep, it's Rager. And he'll wind up losing yardage here, back at the 21-yard line. And welcome back, we are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter, a very one-sided affair.
The Eagles on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and 11. Boy, and now they can't even get a playoff. He didn't seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. On third and long, it's Wins. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Now a fair catch called for and made right on the 45-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return, and possession will switch hands first and 10. Good starting field position for the New York Giants here as they come up first and 10 at the 45. Now a handoff here to his running back. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. They'll run with Hunt on second down. Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. Kyle run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And Ingram hauls it in. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. And again, this time, the tailback. And he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right and the ball is knocked out. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Prescott to throw it. Got a man, Slayton. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. First down, Giants on a pickup of 14. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Second and nine. They go back to Grant. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. A 15-yard touchdown run as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Even though they've got this big advantage, Charles, they are not taking their foot off the gas pedal right now. Well, I think what we're seeing is the result of all their great preparation and great practice time during the week. And even though it seems like this is a great chance to pull people back and maybe, you know, not try and score a few more times, they don't want to do that. I think they're enjoying what they're seeing, the collective effort, and they want to play it all the way out. 25-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And just looking ahead, it would appear that that bye week is coming at the right time. They'll have two weeks to chew on this one, though. On Wentz is intercepted yet again. Picked off around the 41. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. 
The utter domination here just continues. This defense, I don't know what more we can say all around about their performance. Well, it certainly feels in this game like maybe they're facing a Canadian defense. 12 guys on the field. <laughs> it feels like there's an extra on every snap because they have really struggled to make headway through the air. So from the 36 now, first and 10. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. The ball carried by. That's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that deal. Mike, okay. I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. And not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense column. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. But forget knowing where the first down line was. His defense created their own line of scrimmage. They won every battle up front. And a lot of times, that is one-on-one. -on -one. If you win your one-on-ones enough times, your defense is going to be pretty good. They had more people to the football and snuffed out the play. Oh, my goodness. I thought he'd peel off. Instead, he makes the fair catch at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked out and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He'll fire it deep for Rager. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up in that moment of truth and make a play on the ball. And which will not be able to get rid of it. He's taken down for a safety. Things are just going from bad to worse now. It's a safety that does him in here, and that is one frustrated offensive unit. They can't get out from under their own shadow right now. I mean, I know this is the NFL, but could you imagine a college crowd right now? Imagine what they'd be doing. They'd be chanting, start the bus, because they think this one is over. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. On first down. It's green. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll keep it on the ground. Green. Green flexing his muscle. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. That's the run he's been waiting for, Charles. He's been bottled up all game. That run alone got him more yards than he had in all his previous carries combined. And don't think for a second he doesn't know that because every back that I know can almost calculate every yard with every step that they take. He had to be frustrated because of what's happened during the game. Has to be a lot better after that run. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left in no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. A gain of two there on the heels of a one-yard pickup on first. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. They got a yard on first, two on second, and three here on third. Fourth down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On is the punter, Johnston now, as he sends this one away. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. So that one will be accepted. Let's go, let's bring it. Let's... 
Here comes Sanders on the toss right. And can you believe it? It's a second safety in this ball game. Things are just going from bad to worse now. It's a safety that does him in here. And that is one frustrated offensive unit. They can't get out from under their own shadow right now. I mean, I know this is the NFL, but could you imagine a college crowd right now? Imagine what they'd be doing. They'd be chanting, start the bus, because they think this one is over. And that's the type of return that puts a tremendous amount of pressure on the defense now. They've got to go out on the field almost like it's a sudden change, almost like it's a turnover. Maybe I'd go out there and try and stop them. But boy, what a tough spot they're in. Right back to Sanders on first down. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Making the stop that time, Bobby Wagner. This run defense has been pretty stout all game long. Now you're here in the fourth quarter. Let's rely more on the passing attack. I don't think you have any choice, and I don't think you have to dress it up at all either. Throughout the first three quarters, you're still trying to convince the defense that you may run the football. That's out the window right now. Protect, let your quarterback operate, and try to find some targets in the open field downfield. And boy, that one drops incomplete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Complete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Now wins. And somewhat of a measure of revenge as he's in for the touchdown. But they still trail big time. He'll take it, but he won't be able to smile about it. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go on and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. And this one travels out of bounds. So unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. Good starting field position for him as they come up first and ten their side of midfield at the 47. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. Davion Taylor there to bring him down. Brings up second and The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. And they will take a knee here. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Today's final score, Giants. But Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Giants, their strong start to the year continues as they're up to 5-1. And, and they'll return home next week to take on the Miami Dolphins. Meanwhile, for Philadelphia, it's loss number three for them on the year. And now they'll head to the bye week as he'll be back in action in week eight. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.
on me, that's a lot of it. Four coops, four seasons, drop the top of it. Bust down, but my wrist, time to talk a lot of I got both my girls, head to toe designer. Drill, little bit, little bit.